First of all, I would like to differentiate between a convex lens and a concave lens. A concave lens refracts the light in a similar way like a convex lens, but rays of light after passing through a concave lens do not converge to a single point. These refracted rays diverge and do not intersect at a point like a convex lens. Now, if we extend all these refracted rays in a concave lens in the backward direction, a virtual image is formed behind the lens. As it diverges all the rays coming from a point, these lenses are also known as diverging lenses, whereas a convex lens is known as a converging lens because rays of light after passing through the lens are converged to a single point and a real image of the object is formed. So this is just a magnified view of the ray diagram in case of a concave lens. You f is the focal length which is the distance between the center of the lens and the focal point. d is the thickness of the lens in the middle. So convex lenses. Convex lenses or converging lenses are of four types that is equiconvex, planoconvex, biconvex and converging meniscus. We will also study basic ray diagram and learn some important terms. Moreover, we will study uses of convex lenses as a magnifier and also in the treatment of various refractory errors of eye. First of all, basic definitions. These parallel rays of light after passing through the convex lens converge at a point. This point is known as focal point or principal focus. It is a point on the principal axis where rays of light parallel to the principal axis converge. Now principal axis is the line passing through center of curvature of the lens. Focal length is the horizontal distance between principal focus and optical center. Optical center is an imaginary point inside a lens through which a light ray is able to travel without being deviated. This vertical line is known as optical axis. The lens is considered to be so thin as to be represented by the axis of the lens known as optical axis. The convex lens as a magnifier. When we use convex lens as a magnifier, we need to place a small object very close to the lens or between the optical center and the principal focus of the lens. Now we will consider two rays coming from the object. First ray that is parallel to the principal axis after passing through the convex lens passes through the principal focus. It converges and passes through the principal focus. The second line that passes through the optical center of the lens remains undeviated. We reproduce these lines in the backward direction and get an enlarged and virtual image of the object. It can be seen that image of the object is highly magnified and on the same side as the object. In short, in order to get a magnified image of the object, object needs to be placed inside or within the focal length or close to the convex lens. Now refractory errors. Different kinds of refractory errors of eye are listed here. Out of all these refractory errors, hyperopia and presbyopia, these two errors are treated by using convex lenses. Hyperopia is also known as farsightedness and convex lenses are used for the treatment of farsightedness. On the other hand, presbyopia is actually hardening or reduction in elasticity of lens that results due to normal aging process that is when we are more than 40 years of age. It is also corrected with convex lenses. Thank you for watching.